Now you've played some games with addition facts and I just gave you a sample and I recommend that you look in your games and activities manual and find some other things. And let that games and activities manual be a starting point for your imagination. Here we have addition facts mastery. Let's look at it. Here we have a one with a one. One plus one gives us two. Here we have a one put together with a two. One plus two gives us three. Let's look at what the child is going to see. I'm looking at page three now. Here we have a three. The child will fill in the three with a one. And the answer's already filled in there. It's a four. Here we see a two bar that we're going to get put together with a two bar. Now what's going to happen when the child gets out a two and a two? Have them do that. Here's a two bar and another two bar. And a two bar and a two bar is the same as a four bar. And if they need to do that, have them do that. You see how they're going to have a lot of fun just filling in those problems. Now, if you look at page seven, here is a sample of some missing add-ins. What do I add to two to get four? Well, here's a four. Here's a two. What do I put with that two to get four? Well, it must be a two. And below it, we have something that we put with a two to get a five. Here's our five. Here's our two. And what do we put with that? We put a three. So three plus two is the same as five. Notice that the missing number changes position. Sometimes it's over here on the right. Sometimes it's on the left, and sometimes it's in the middle. This is very important. Children will see problems like this on standardized tests, but aside from the standardized test, it really makes sure that they understand the concept of addition and that they think of the equal sign as meaning the same as. I hope you see that the child could be working in the smiley face books and working on their place value in the counting books and also beginning to work in the addition facts mastery, especially if they have those writing skills.